Hey guys, it's Corrales. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8. Please do bear in mind, there's still an alpha shaders mod, so there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be glitches, but it works. Anyhow, really hope you find this useful and hug the like button if you do. Love you to bits, enjoy. Hey guys, it's Corrales, and welcome everybody to another shaders mod installation video, this time for Minecraft 1.8. It's been like 10 months since I did the previous one, which was from Minecraft 1.7.5, I believe, or something, and I've still been using the same configuration, but now my server is getting upgraded to 1.8, and it's time to show you guys how it's done. All right, so let's do it. Hopefully I can make it as easy as possible because trust me, it's really easy. There are gonna be two links in the description, so pay closely attention. The first link will take you to this page, which is the Minecraft forums and the post from Carryonyx. Go down here until you see for Minecraft 1.8 alpha version 2.4.2. Click it click, it's gonna jump us in the thread a bit into the latest post by Carryonyx. And the cool thing about this, you don't have to have Forge installed to make it this work. So this is super simple, all right? This is the download link and here it becomes shady. Do not click anything in this window here. We don't want to have any viruses or whatnot. Wait until this counter here in the top right corner goes down to zero and the skip add button comes up. Click it now download and save where it's convenient for you. The next link will take you to this page, which is the Sonic Eaters Unbelievable Shaders. And those are the ones I use a lot. There are a bunch of different out there. Uh, Ruder Plates, for example, Mr. Meep, ex extremely beautiful as well. But Sonic Eater, I just love them. So just scroll down here until you see the download section, which is about here. The ones I'm using in the Inspiration Series are the 10.1 Ultra. Light is coming soon, because trust me, if you're playing on a potato on a, or a calculator, this might not work, because this is really intensive, like CPU and graphical intensive. So trust me, you need a beastly computer to make this work. But here goes the same. Click the one you choose and wait until this counter goes down to zero. Skip the add button and then just save where it's convenient for you. Skip add, agree and download. As simple as that. So now when we downloaded those two files, it's time to install. And I have just reinstalled my Minecraft. And everybody watching this, make sure you back up your save games. This shouldn't interfere whatsoever, but sometimes people make stupid mistakes, right? So if I open up my Minecraft folder, as you can see, it's totally blank, not really much in there as a backup. And this folder is located in under system, users, your username, app.roaming.minecraft. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a folder here called shader packs. Very important, shader packs, all right? Shader packs. And then I'm gonna drag and drop the Zeus, which we just, we just downloaded, into that. Drag and drop, copy, paste, whatnot. Just make sure it's in there. Next step would be to install the shaders mod. But if I click this, it's gonna give me an error. Bam, bam, failed. And you might be like, why it fail? This is just because this is a totally fresh installation. I haven't really run Minecraft yet. So what we need to do is just run Minecraft once, all right? And here under my profile, I'm gonna select, go to edit profile, and here in use version, I'm gonna use version 1.8, okay? I don't think this will work in 1.8.1. I haven't really tried it out. You might try it out, but make sure you select version release 1.8. The resolution I'm gonna set, this is just custom for me, just so you guys can be able to see in the game later on, better at least. And here's also something which you could tweak. If this gives you something error, like an error or something, just go back to the previous setting, all right? But if you click this, I don't really know what that is, I'm just gonna erase this. This, minus XMX1G. This means that your Minecraft will use or accumulate one gigabyte of RAM memory. I got 32 gigs in this one, so I could set this to 32. But recommended, which I've read and seen on, on, on the internet or interwebs, is actually four gigs. So if you have four gigs, just do something like this. And if this gives some, some error, just untick and you'll be happy. Save profile and play. So now we have a fresh installation of Minecraft 1.8 installed. And you don't have to go through the step if you already have Minecraft 1.8 installed. Next step is close this down. So now when we click the Shaders Mod Installer, yes, okie dokie, it should say complete. And what this does, it adds a separate profile to your Minecraft launcher, which is just based on the Shaders Mod, which is really awesome and decent. So hopefully it's here. There we go. As you can see, 1.8 Shaders Mod. 
edit profile and set the custom resolution. This is something you don't have to do. This is something for, for me for this video, right? Because it's going to be easier for you guys to see. There we go. 4G in the RAM memory and play. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, this gonna, might be a very failed tutorial video. Mojang. There we go. Options. If we press options, all right, there should be a new button here called shares. And if you click that, just select Zeus, which we just downloaded and put in the shares pack folder, all right? So select it, click done, done, single player, create new world. Survival, creative, there we go. New world, why not? It's a whole new world. And behold, everybody, we got a sun, we got shaders. This might lag, by the way. I have actually no idea because I'm playing in window mode and I'm recording my desktop instead. So if I just go time set 5000. And as you can see, this is the Zeus shaders mod. And it works absolutely fantastic. Just take a peek at the water. Hopefully you guys made this this work for you and please keep in mind the shaders mod is still in alpha for 1.8 so it might be a bit tdtd -td derps here and there on some textures or whatnot and lighting effects but uh, it is looking pretty it's definitely better than the default shaders which mojang added now isn't it everybody hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did Hit the like button, it helps me a lot and it's, it's, I I'm, I'm really appreciate it guys, alright, so, makes me really happy. So thank you so, so much, if you have any problems uh, with it, any questions, suggestions or whatnot, please do write them in the comment section below and as a community, we can help each other, I think. Much love guys, enjoy the Shiris mod.